What's going on guys? Saw Shang-Chi in the Legend of the Ten Rings today. Just gonna give you a quick review. Um, if it's a quick review, I'll just say it's a quick review. I don't like really doing long-winded reviews where I get into all the... I'll save that for the movies that really, really deeply affect me. Um, honestly, this is one of the better Marvel movies that I've seen recently. Uh, it's pro like if I had to make a top five Marvel movies that I've seen, Shang-Chi would be on it. This is this was a really, really good movie. It's definitely the best looking movie, honestly. Um, I don't I don't know what they did. They probably saw that video by every frame of painting or something. Uh, no, that was the Marvel Symphonic Universe. Somebody did a, a, a video about why Marvel movies have horrible cinematography and color grading, but, uh, whatever they did, they got their ad together, because this, this, it's, it's a really aesthetically pleasing movie. Um, fight choreography is beautiful. Um, the opening fight at the beginning between, um, Shang-Chi and the woman who would be his wife, that was amazing. That was some, that was Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, meets Dragon Ball Z, and it was, it was great, um, the acting, is fantastic, um, look, I don't know what it is about Marvel movies, where they have to do this forced, unfunny comedy, that just has to be in every Marvel movie, it's like they can't be serious, it's a mandate, you can only be serious for this amount of time, then you have to put a joke in, there is a very compelling scene in this movie where Shang-Chi is just, he's, he's telling how his father pretty much made him into a weapon. And it gets interrupted by unfunny comedy. And I don't understand it. It's like, it, he says something like, my fa if my father would have told me to burn down the world, I would have asked him. And then somebody interrupts it. Vegetarian or beef? Would you like vegetarian or beef for dinner? And it's like, why did they do that? Why did they do that? They took me out of it. And there's a scene, there's a scene on the bus, the fight on the bus, this fat guy just starts filming it and making funny comments all the way th through the entire fight scene. And it's like, why is this character there? It, the character's never seen again, never mentioned. It's like, it doesn't need to be there. It's not, who finds that funny? That's the thing. When I'm watching these Marvel movies and I'm just, who finds this? Nobody laughed. Nobody laughed in the theater when those things happened because they weren't funny. I don't blame them. You see, now I'm get, going off on a tangent of things that I don't like, but which I hate to do with a movie that I like so much. Anyway, yeah, the movie was great. I enjoyed it a lot. This is definitely a, a 4K purchase whenever it comes out and whenever I buy a 4K Blu-ray player. The soundtrack was amazing. They had a, a very great soundtrack. I'm gonna try to find um, the songs that I like that were playing during certain scenes because they were that good. Um, yeah, outside of the, the, the crappy comedy, I really enjoyed this movie. This movie was great. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings an 8.5 out of 10. It would have been a 10 out of 10. It would have been a 10 out of 10. Everything about this movie is so great. The fight choreography, the acting the cinematography, the story, but they had to ruin it with putting in that Comedy Cemetery. There's a subreddit called Comedy Cemetery, and every piece of comedy that was in this movie should be on that subreddit, where jokes go to die. That's all I'll say. Did you guys see it? Let me know what you thought down in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video when I care to make one about anything that just kind of sparks my interest. Bye.